nobody in their right mind would live in this area. It's miserable. There's no sleeping for anybody in the area at night. This noise turns 24 seven. Um, so you're pretty sleep deprived. People have headaches, migraines, dizziness. You don't spend any time outside unless you absolutely have to. It's about 67, yeah. No one knew what they were as they were dropping them in. Uh, there were speculations that they were part of the electric plant because if you look, there is no fence between them and the electric plant. So we're thinking that that's part of the electric company, not part of the Bitcoin. We never really could figure it out until they started turning it on. And then we were hearing it. At first, they weren't running it as fast, they weren't running it as often, you know, and they didn't have as many machines. Now they're getting pretty close to full capacity, except they keep getting faster and faster and faster they get. The more they have to cool it off, the more they cool it off, the louder the fans get and the noise just keeps getting louder and louder and louder. We, I was 72 when I came out here. Now, this is my final place to be. I can live this out and hear the birds sing and, and have some peace and quiet, and, and then a year or two later, I'll Continuous. It's not an up and down sound. It's a continuous roar all the time. I don't oppose what they're doing, but what I do oppose is um, the noise. It's pollution. It's noise pollution. That's, that's the bottom line. I wanted to live out here in the country with my animals and horses in peace and quiet. We don't have it now. I've been here for almost 30 years. None of this was here and they've invaded um, our privacy. There's not a chance you could sell this property and move anywhere else. Nobody in their right mind would live in this area. It's, it's miserable.